Well, hello, Jazzy Greens, and welcome back to another week of Sweet on Sundays. Yes. Are you guys ready for something sweet? I have the perfect sweet treat for you. Simone and I, who are hosting this collaboration, are going to bring to you something sweet. Now, today, I am going to make a peppermint chocolate brownie, okay? That sounds good. I hope so. So, if you're ready, let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay guys, I'm going to be making some chocolate peppermint brownies and we're going to first start off with a box of dark chocolate fudge that comes in the box of Duncan Hines and then I have my cake mix brownies right here in the bowl already. I've got my baking pan that's already been greased with butter and it calls for one egg. Now you can use white egg if you like but I'm using brown one half cup of vegetable oil, one third cup of water, and then I have a handful of peppermints which I'm going to place in this bag and give them a nice chop. So let's go ahead and get started. And now I'm going to pour the oil, the water, and the egg to the mixture like that. My water. And one egg. Now I'll be right back. I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands and get that egg off. Okay, now I've washed my hands and I'm gonna go ahead and mix everything up together. Now I have a weird way of mixing things and stirring and cutting, so don't laugh at me. I know it looks funny. This is how I mix. <laughs> Now, if you want, you can use a mixer, but I choose not to, just for this. I don't think it's necessary. You just have to make sure you blend and work everything in really, really well. Make sure you get the sides. Optional, I did add just a little bit extra water to be a little more creamier, like you see here. But don't be afraid to add a little bit more water. It was not, it's not going to do anything bad. It will still come out tasting delicious. And okay, now I'm going to go ahead and pour this into my baking pan. And this, as you can see, is aluminum. When I was a child, my great grandmother would make and bake things all the time. And after she would finish this part, she would give me the bowl and the mixing, the mixers. How many of you had uh, tasted that too when you were a kid? Wasn't that so much fun? I just love to do that. That was the best part of <laughs> watching her make desserts is the bowl and the mixers. So I can eat up everything. Okay, once I'm finished with this, I'm going to put this in the oven at 350 degrees and approximately bake it for 21 to 23 minutes. Okay, while that's baking, we're going to take our peppermints and as many as you want. It depends on you. If I had some candy canes, I would have used those, but I only have the round peppermints. So I'm just going to place them all in this bag like this. Can you guess what I'm about to do? I think you know. Yes, I'm about to chop it up and break it up as finely as I possibly can so that we can do the last step. Now, one thing I want to caution you, 
if you're not a baker, and I am not a baker, but um, <laughs> what I discovered that I should have done was bake two boxes instead of one. Because when you only use one box, you're gonna have such a very thin layer of cake when it comes out. So I'm a little bummed about that, but that's okay. We're still gonna have our nice sweets and delicious. Um, we're gonna enjoy it. So here it is, so I'm just gonna give them a chop. I don't know if you guys can see, but that's pretty much how I want it. So I'll let you see how I place it on the brownies when it finishes. Okay, everybody, the brownies are done. I let them cool for a little bit, maybe 10 minutes or so. And now I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of sweet treat, which is some vanilla frosting. This is the rich and creamy. Now you can top this with anything, any type of frosting that you want and um, that's what I'm gonna do because we like vanilla in this house all right everybody it is complete the brownies are done and I just added the frosting on top and I'm not the best at adding the frosting but hey that's okay I'm gonna go ahead and slice into it and add the peppermint on there and give it a nice taste. So hopefully I can, hopefully I can do this successfully. <laughs> Okay, now let me go ahead and put the final touches on there, and that is the peppermint. So you just sprinkle a little bit on top of the frosting, as much as you want or as less as you want. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to sprinkle some on the plate just to add a little more festive color to it. Just to garnish it a little bit more. All righty, let me get my fork and let's give it a taste. But this is how it looks. Doesn't that look good? Give this a big thumbs up this is really really good you guys got to try it so this is the end of the video I hope you guys like the way this look and like I said um, I should have added another box so that this would be a thicker you know higher up slice but since I didn't this is how it comes out with just one box so it's just trial and error and like I said, I'm not a professional baker, but this is what you want to do is probably get two boxes. All right, guys, I hope you like this recipe. Again, I will have it down in my description box. And if you are new to the channel, welcome. I'm so glad to have you. This collaboration is by Simone and I, and we're just trying to bring 
uh, good sweet treats on Sunday, ideas for the holidays for you guys. So, all right, guys, you take care and you be blessed, and I will see you next time. Bye.